what an inspiring conversation yeah. right now. I feel like the tone has been set yeah. for what is set <laughs> to be a magical year. I think we all have seen how resilient we can be and how we're able to tap into our greatest abilities and uh, potential. Ah, oh, that's right. So we have to be realistic. Mm. And I love the conversations Jamie just had. So yeah. let's talk about the intentions that we have set out for ourselves. Raul, do you want to? Let's invite Jamie in. Jamie. Come and join us for this conversation. The lady of the hour on the intentions conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, do you want to start us off between the I two can, of you? I, I can do so. So, um, I don't know, I, I've, I'm still formulating the preciseness of my intentions, but nonetheless, with that being said, my intentions are this, for this year are to keep things simple. Uh, I think uh, last year we were going out trying to change the world and do the most, and I think it puts unnecessary pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, number one for me is just to keep things simple. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Number two is to enjoy the time I have been blessed with. And that's every moment that we wake up. So instead of putting myself through torture and slaving away all the time, I want to be more present in enjoying the time that I have been blessed with. And then last but not least, it's just about balance. So ensuring that I have balance within my spiritual life, my emotional life, financially, as well as my friends and everyone else that I'm around, that's really important to me. So those are my three big intentions that I really want to put out there for the year, it's to be present and have those moments. And uh, the rest is just uh, for the magic to unfold, I guess. That's <laughs> exciting. That's very exciting. Yeah. Jamie, do you want to share some of your intentions for 2022? very similar to that. I, I think like last year, I just wanted to get out there. I was working so much, but I t forgot to take a step and just realize like how far we've come or how far you've come. Mm. So I think this year it's all about just being pur purpose driven. Everything I want to do is with purpose and just be present in everything that I do. So th for me, it's not about, you know, trying to change the world. It's just like being present and enjoying every single step of the journey wherever I am, whether it's going to be rock bottom or whether it's going to be flying high, um, but just enjoy it and just do it with meaning. So yeah, yeah that is really my intention. You're flying high, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm prophesized. Yay! <laughs> Manifest. Wow. Uh, well, I think last year was difficult for everyone, but I think we also got to see and recognize the really important things. There was so much loss. We all, a lot of us lost jobs and, you know, family members and friends and all of that. And it really got me realizing we spent so much time working and like what Raul said, not stopping, constantly just chasing the next thing, um, that we get disconnected from the realities of so many people. My big intention this year is I realize that we've got such an incredible platform. The work that we do gives us uh, platforms that many otherwise don't. Uh, I've had an incredibly rewarding year last year and got to do some fantastic jobs that I really connected with. But I realized that if I'm not able to channel that to change somebody else's situation and help in whatever way that I can, then what's it really mm. for? Mm. Uh, I saw so many people really take a knock and suffer. And this year, my biggest intention is to really tap into what I'm able to do using my platforms and opportunities and the brands that I work with to really just do something for someone who otherwise might not be able to do it themselves or the government can't do it for them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Use that platform. Uncle Tops for prison. Yes, yes. Daddy, yes. Please, it was so clear for you right now. It's not easy. So deep. So deep. So deep. <laughs> Very deep. Mine's a little bit, um, a big word for me this year is boundaries. So mm. I spoke earlier, but I think last year was one of those years where I feel like my personal boundaries were lacking. So I gave the world more energy than what I got back. And that leaves you draining. That leaves you feeling empty. So I want to avoid that. Um, so yeah, putting up boundaries with my time, especially as a freelancer, you say yes to so many things and then you end up in a position where you, you don't want to do something. Mm. So I don't want to say yes to anything I don't feel like doing this mm. year. So that is part of my boundary bubble. Preach it! All about I the boundaries this love year. It. We should all it. start to have this little group, like a counseling session <laughs> yeah. every month. We just check in. How are you doing? Yes. Are you achieving that? Are yes. you setting boundaries? And call one another out. Let's keep one another accountable you for know, this. We yes. should do that with the rest of Mzanzi too. Yeah. You guys are watching. Yeah. You guys are like family to us. We love chatting to you as well. So you can let us know what your intentions are. and Maybe we can all keep each other accountable and allow us to achieve all the magic that we are truly destined for this year. You're here! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.